I would like to do a dense housing block in each of these places and we'll go from there. How's the other one going? Are you guys happy? Yeah, everybody's quite uh, okay. What about you guys? Oh wait, no, you guys. You guys are... Is this the oil running out? What do you mean? Is the oil running out? Oh no, it's just squalor. Sorry. I just need to repair. I'm dumb. I thought for a second the oil was running out. There's so much oil there. Okay, so I need to get an extraction district going here ASAP. I will sacrifice some people. It is what it is, gamers. Sometimes those decisions have to be made. I'll make a hospital here as well. Stalwarts have mysteriously disappeared. Okay. A new hub is proposed. Alcohol rations. Ah, okay. I don't like uh, banning alcohol. That seems like a bad plan. Stewards. Sabotage in winter home. Enact public executions. Last time I went with public executions, it worked really well. Should I, um... Should I do the other option this time around, or should we just go and do public executions instead? I guess we'll do the other option this time around. We'll build the watchtowers for now. I think we can still do this later. Okay, that's one. That's two. I may have to make another district here. Just for... Uh, hospitals and all that. What's up, Trump? You joined just in time. Um, I do have a hub right now. Communications hub, is that useful? Trust? Oh yeah, we can get some trust. What else? Food stockpile, fighting hub. Less, less tension over here would be useful. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's nice. Um, I'm also gonna start just harvesting some of these things. At least the permanent sources. I know there are some areas that I can turn into... Uh... Can we just harvest everything? Stormwatch. Is that like... Stormgate? Ah, we have an oil settlement over here. I love oil. Oh, I'm actually out of uh, out of heat stamps. Damn. Yo, Snizix! Thank you very much. Just eight more months to go until nice. Eight more, dude. I I need some money. I need some money to love. Oh, this gives me so much, but they get very upset at me. What about I take your money and then I make you a promise? <laughs> I will promise to uh, research this. Perfect. These people are so gullible. He's promise whatever. I just, I just research it, that's okay. Outpost upkeep is decreased. That's a great idea. Love it. Big fan. Huge fan, actually. 
I could do a little bit more food production if I can. Um. Yeah. What's up, Gruben Herbert? We have a permanent mine now, dude. It's really nice. Uh, so there will be an explosion in uh, Winter Home in the near future. Squalor is very severe. I would like to reduce squalor over here if possible. Um, I know there's a way to do that in the... Uh, over here somewhere. Disease goes down. Squalor goes up. Maybe I haven't researched that. That's eh, okay. Fuck it. They just need to repair their homes a little bit more frequently. They get a little bit of, uh, a little bit upset. There's a filter tower under housing. Oh, I didn't actually get that one yet. Filtration tower? Okay, I will research that next. If I don't forget. Okay, you guys are working emergency shifts now. I need a core. Death to the pilgrims. We've discovered... Okay, the dream is dead. The cores are gone. We will never feel true warmth. Damn, these people are so, uh, so dramatic. So I've managed to enforce peace in Winter Home. If the measures put in place... Can, okay, our lifted Winter Home will face destruction again. It's alright. So I have to build a fume filtration thing right over here. Okay. Bandishing his wounds. Jack. I can't believe they put up watchtowers. I can't believe they attacked me. People won't, or back home, won't stand for this. I know they won't. I'll die here, but it won't be for nothing. I'm proud I tried to run. I'd do it again if I could. I stay here and die for a cause I don't believe in, for a place I never wanted to go, or try to make it back to the city. I'd run every day. Being sent to Winter Home has radicalized some citizens. My folks have finally made a Facebook account. Um, the Facebook account is not great for their um, mental health. They're not loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. Not loving it. Spirits of our expansion to the Frostland, our outposts will be operated by hardened pioneers capable of handling themselves. Alright. I think that's a decent idea. I don't really know what it replaces, but it's fine. I think it's okay, actually. At this point, since the, the law takes effect. since the um, the pilgrims have so much voting power, it seems like everything just passes whatever they like, which works for me. Oh, don't crash. Okay, Jesse. They sit on their throne made of our blood, built off our backs. They drink ice wine and smoke cigars and laugh over appetizers. And what do we do? We work, we toil, we break ourselves in the muck and mire for a dream we don't share. May they choke on their food, may they drown in their wine, may they burn together with their pathetic ideals. And may I be there to see it. <sighs> Tensions between pilgrims and stalwarts are rising. People don't seem to be entirely happy with the current situation as it is. Um, I wonder why. I've been nothing but good to these people. Nothing. Anyways, I was looking for filtration towers or something? Famine prevention? What's this? 
food hoarding inspectorate? <laughs> okay, I have to do this one first. The food sweep district ability. This lowers the amount of hunger. And we have a food hoarding inspectorate. Ah, uh, you can't put the heating on here. It, it can't be. It can't be turned on. Okay, and then we have one more all the way over here. Oh, there's no fuel here. Wait, I need to send fuel. Oh, I didn't realize I needed to send fuel. Oh, I couldn't do it earlier. I guess. Uh, oh wait, this is the entirely wrong thing. Hold up right now. I'm dumb. I couldn't do it earlier because there weren't any places where the generator could be turned on, I think. Yeah, I don't think we know how much we need to send until we, uh, we send it. So we'll send some stuff and we'll see how it goes. I'll try to get the people here to be at least reasonably happy. Meet the demand. Okay, we'll set it up like that, see how it goes. I may be having, uh, I may be having to adjust that, to be honest, but... Toxic cast, uh, noticeable. Okay. So wait, this is done? This is finished? Oh, that's a cool structure too, man. So the fume filtration district is done. Uh, we'll do some more rapid filter or rapid mining over in this direction. Loco, how are your teeth white? My teeth is yellow, and girls say my teeth is yellow. Uh, there's a lot to unwrap here, fuzzy peaches. I left my peaches out of Georgia. Da -da 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 -da. I like the rapid frost breaking. I'm a rapid frost breaker kind of guy. You drink a lot of energy drinks? Well, that probably doesn't help with, uh... With teeth whiteness. There's ways to whiten your teeth, though. Also, girls say your teeth are yellow? You're talking to girls? If you can't whiten your teeth, maybe try darkening your gums? <laughs> wow. What a great suggestion. My enamel is decaying. My first Tinder date, the girl said, WTF, your teeth is yellow? Damn, dude. She sounds, she sounds pretty terrible. <laughs> first date you're on with a person, she's like. <laughs> that is so mean. Oh, thank you, Motlessis, gifting us up to Blue Harvest. Can we turn on the generator yet? Ah. There we go. I drink a lot of tea and coffee myself. I, uh... 
I don't know. My teeth RNG in life has been okay. I've never really had issues with my teeth other than braces. I had braces for years. I've had terrible ear RNG, though. For what's that worth? I don't know. It's, uh... I feel like it makes up for it, you know? Yeah, I also have very bright lights in front of my face. Maybe that makes them brighter than it is. Let's send a thousand people this way. My teeth look like veneers, but real? No? <laughs> Thanks, bro. I grew these myself. Out of my body. Made it myself, dude. <laughs> I had terrible teeth when I was younger. Uh, when I first, like, changed all my teeth, I had a mass, like, a massive space. Like, my, my jaw at the bottom was, like, five centimeters back. And my teeth in general were very crooked. So my parents paid a lot of money <laughs> to get me braces and all that. Shout out to my parents. Because um, that, changed, that changed the entire look of my face. If I see, like, childhood pictures of... Me when I was like 12 or so, like maybe 11. Um, I think I got braces when I was about maybe 14, 13 or something like that. Um, yeah. You had an extra tooth? Damn. I had extra molars, Motlesis. They had something to do with my wisdom, I think. Um, oh, I have my new thing. My new structure. The food hoarding inspectorate. Perfect. That reduces hunger, guys. It's a perfect idea. Now, braces in the Netherlands, you can get an insurance. Uh, to get braces up until a certain amount, I think. And medical care is not nearly as expensive over here as it is in the in the States, for example. Uh, a moss filtration tower. A structure that circulates ambient air through natural moss that absorbs and filters impurities. Okay. Kids are... Wait, really? Braces are free in Sweden. Well, when you think about it, a lot of teeth issues, when caught early, save a lot of money in the long run, too. Like, it's one of those things that kind of, like, gets worse over time, generally, right? It's free until you're 18? Okay. Well, it's free. Yes, of course, free. All the toxic springs have been cleared, closed. Toxic gas is no longer a threat. What many once saw is a cursed, desolate land you've made inhabitable. Wait, what? <laughs> do, do they mean habitable? What many once saw as a cursed, desolate land you've made inhabitable. Good job, you've made the place inhabitable. Um, we've come across a couple of interesting typos. I think that's the biggest one so far. I think they mean habitable, yes. This miracle proves we can settle anywhere. The once-cursed city will become a springboard from which we will expand even further. The Frostland can indeed become our home. Wait, it means the same thing? What? No. Am I insane? Wouldn't you say...
I'm getting a couple of words mixed up. Inhabitable is suitable to live in or habitable. Oh shit, so the... What? A synonym for... Inhabitable is habitable? What the fuck, English? How is inhabitable? So you have uninhabitable? So you have to do a double negative in... English is... English is... Because you can inhabit... Yeah, you can inhabit somewhere. Ah. So uninhabitable is the negative of this, right? Yes. Okay. Uninhabitable. Inhabitable. Habitable. What the fuck? This is a double negative. Although this in my mind is indeed negative. Even though it's... <sighs> English moment. Yeah, we have similar things in Dutch too. We definitely do. I just never thought about this one for longer than three seconds. It just sounds like the IN in front of habitable would make it negative, but... <laughs> that is funny. There's probably a very small difference between the two. It's probably not a perfect synonym. But it works. Um, I like hoarding all the resources in New London. And then sending them around. I think that's a good idea. If I send some more people. Perfect. Okay, so these geothermal springs. What do I do with them? Can I extract them? Oh yeah, I can. Resource is heat. Okay. That's hot. More frost breaking. And more cores as well, by the way. I do need more cores. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna dig up the whole thing. Um there's a lot of core set up. We have some coal over here too. Okay. I don't really know if we need coal, but We can do some fast uh, frost breaking now that we have uh, a reasonable amount of stuff. I think I'm going to start enabling a lot of my uh, outposts again. So there's especially a bunch of these that I haven't set up properly. I think I can actually enable all of them. We have a lot of resources in these places. I don't think I can really enable all of them. No, it's probably a bit too much, but... There's a lot of food in some of these places. Oh, that's a little bit buggy. Okay. Um, so we actually have a permanent settlement over here, though, in the Winter Home Ruins. That is fun. So that is the ruins from the original game. So I need to send over another 3,000 people for my main quest. We'll go ahead and do so. Relocate them. We need 9,000 people here. 
There are 9,000 people in New Winter Home. That's a fact. For real, for real. So this place is also no longer dangerous now? Oh yeah, sweet dude. We can just build everywhere. Oh, we could also have built in this little crevice. Maybe that would have been better. Anyways, we'll get an extraction district over here too. And we're gonna be extracting that heat. I don't really know how we extract the heat or what we get, but we get steam. Oh, okay, we actually just get a new resource called steam. Yeah, it's over here at the top of the screen. Ah, cool. I need more workforce, but they're almost here. I wanted to go ahead and build a most filtering tower over here somewhere. That should get rid of any issues. I don't understand these numbers. Use the resource from another location to meet this demand. If there is not enough to meet full demand, all supply will be sent. But I don't need that much. This menu is, uh, is a bit of a confusing one. I actually am not getting enough oil. I may want to start up these coal liquefactor things. Um, maybe advanced coal mines would be a better idea first. Advanced shaft coal mines. Operation using a large vertical shaft. Nice, dude. Advanced coal mine was my nickname in college. Fun fact. All right. Um, there's a lot of coal over here. Or not a lot. There's some coal over here. <laughs> well, no, it's t totally reasonable. Don't worry about it. We have a load of materials up here on the, uh, the high ground, too. There's a bunch of it over here, too. Keep cold, hunger, and disease absent. All right, we did it. Well done, Stuart. We're nearly there. You've shown it's possible to embrace the frost that this new ice age is simply a catalyst for adaptation. The future is just within our reach. But our path to this point has divided our people. Trouble brews in New London. Chart your course with care. There's a radical over here. Get yourself together. We must do it. We must. If a crop is diseased, you burn the plants. If a scout has frostbite, you cut off the limb. And if a faction no longer serves the people, feeds the, or feeds them to winter home for a delusional cause, rips their future from their hands, what do we do? Exactly. We get rid of people who destroyed our future. Civil war is brewing. Stalker arrested. Stuart, the guards have apprehended a member of the stalwarts near the council, hon uh, council hall. We call them loitering. All right. We found a notebook full of timetables of the pilgrim's delegates, comings and going. All right. Uh, we are going to closely... Yeah, we're going to condemn these sons of bitches. Get them out of here. Oh, yeah. You guys were supposed to be happy with me. How are you not happy? Be happy, damn it. Why are you unhappy? I should be a therapist. <laughs> what could possibly go? Oh shit, no, not this again. No! We got Caesared! 
They turned us into a salad. <sighs> A2 Loco? Ass 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 in nation in the council. Stuart, what if the stalwarts has stabbed the speaker of the pilgrims to death? At the exact moment, bands of stalwarts stormed several districts in the city. New London is on the brink of chaos. Is it un in assassination? I think that's it. Un in de assassination in the council. The pilgrims are furious and terrified. Banishing the stalwarts would punish the crime and unify New London. No, we fucking banish these sons of bitches, obviously. Sorry, these sons of... Uh... You could retake the captain's lost authority, separate the bickering factions, and enforce order. Right. The choice is binding. If you confirm, you must succeed or your rule will end. Obviously. The stalwarts are to be banished from New London. For this... Not to be a death sentence, by other means, they need a new home. An aborted generator site at Windward Moor contains resources needed for a colony. Even though the site's deposits are buried deep and its freezing wind severe. With some efforts, we could make it habitable and the stalwarts may emigrate voluntarily. Otherwise, we'll need to force them out. Oh shit. Finish a new home and round up all the stalwarts. Right or rid the city of the stalwarts? Okay. Oh, interesting. This is very different than the other run. Uh, we can create a settlement over here. Yes, go ahead. I need cores for that. Of course I do. Dude, we have more oil over here as well. I love oil. I believe I've said that before, but I just... Can't get enough of it. That's very expensive. Um, okay, so we need to find... Where do I send them to? How do I... Uh, is there a notification on the map somewhere? Seems like there's a little place over here. Uh, people are quite angry at me. Even though I've been running the city like a fucking hero, dude. Like, if you look at the amount of resources we've got, everything's great. There's a bit of an uprising over here. Enforce the peace. You do not have enough prisoners. The guards are awaiting orders. Speed the pilgrims' victory. Depatch guard squads to help the defenders subdue the aggressor. Some aggressors will be killed. Yes. Speed is of the essence. Stop the destruction or save lives. We protect the district. Because I need more of these goods. I will build a prison too, I guess. I thought I had a prison. Maybe we need another one. I don't know. Build another one. Oh, is this the base? Fortitude base? No, 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 no. Oh, here it is. We can establish a colony here at Windward Moor. Winds pound this exposed icebound plain. An aborted attempt to settle it decades ago left behind a basic furnace, but little else. The relatively abundant resources nearby could support a decent sized population, provided they are willing to live so far away. That's perfect. Okay, we will establish a colony here. Absolutely, we will. Boiling tension. You must reduce the tension to severe before the city falls. Uh, this seems risky. Uh, we do have to do a vote for me to become uh, the captain.
Can I do this? No, I can't yet. I will protect this district. We will do a speedy victory. Oh, I don't have enough guards for that, okay. I will send in some guys over here too. There's one more area over here that they're currently destroying. We have more guards actually that are needed in this place too. Dude, these guys are not very good, eh? Stalwarts lose popularity. Casualties in fighting. 219 pilgrims died in a recent battle. They were overwhelmed as their opponents stormed with fervor and fury in their eyes. This will eventually lead to one side slaughtering the opposing faction. Well, these guys have a lot more people. We'll deploy the seers because we can. We will assign the secret police. We will promote them as well. These guys are also very upset at me, though. So that's going to be a very difficult thing to pass. Because the issue is that I'm going to have to try and get a vote where the people are going to be voting in my favor, right? Like, But, but that's going to be kind of tricky to achieve. The advanced... Oh, yeah, we have the, the, the shaft mine. Everything in the meantime over at the uh, the old uh, Dreadnought is chilling. Places over here are also not that bad. We need some more workforce for some of this, apparently. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is cores. Okay, we need cores. Uh, this is wood. We don't need this that much. I will start up a food district in this place. Maybe we can't become a captain? I'm not exactly sure. I did just have to make a decision for that. I thought I decided that I was going to do it, but maybe I decided the exact opposite when I actually had to make the direct call. Anyways. Maybe it will be an option. We'll have to see. I want to round up all the stalwarts for sure. So this place has to be repaired. Go ahead. This place... We have to do some buttons. Click all the buttons. Get them over with. This place is also kind of fucked, but we have enough... ...stuff to repair it? Guards deployed to protect the expanded food district. Charged with saving lives. Do it. All of this is chill. We have this place over here. Almost depleted. Stalwart takes hostages. The stalwarts stormed a new district, full of pilgrims' neighborhoods. They set buildings on fire to force them out before ruthlessly beating them. The pilgrims had to retreat, leaving many of their own behind. Now the pilgrims are begging you to help them free the captives. Uh, yeah, no, we will have to, uh... We will have to kill them. Get them in there, man. It's okay. This place right now too, man. Holy fuck, these guys are not letting up. We are repairing stuff, so that's nice. Luckily I had a lot of resources for this, because I've been gathering a lot of stuff. I've already deleted all of it, Andy. But thank you, though. Okay. Uh, how's this area coming along? So we are planning on sending the guys over here. We've dispatched the construction crew to start setting up Windward Moor. 400 non-belligerent stalwarts have left to join them. If we prove that Windward Moor can be self-sustainable, more will emigrate voluntarily. We can, however, transfer control of the city 
or of the colony at any moment. If there are still any stalwarts left in the city, we can deport them by force. Okay, interesting. So this is gonna take quite a while. But... We're helping them out, guys. Rather than murdering them all and putting them in a camp and all that. This is okay. We might be one of the good guys. I've already casted them up the sis. <laughs> I uploaded a new viewer submitted game today. The proper Bronze League games. They're live as of today on YouTube. Absolute banger games. Very high quality gaming. Some of the best gaming ever seen on the internet. You've already gone through more? Oh, you fucking legend. Motlesses has more games to cast? More viewer replays? I'm a gamer gamer, dude. I like gamer gamers. Oh, okay, here we go. We have a new button. Windward more. What? This is their base? This base looks gorgeous. I want a beautiful circle. Why can't I have a circle, dude? Sorry. I want a fucking circle. Um, so we need coal. We need shelter. And we need heat. No, food. There's some food over here. I will build some, uh, some housing. Is there any place that's not exposed to wind? No, everything's exposed to wind. Fuck them, dude. This is just the stalwarts. They don't matter. Do they? There you go. A little circle. I don't know how many homes I need to make. We'll do one more. I'm not going to do fancy upgrades for these guys. These guys get to live in bare districts. Stuart, many pilgrims wonder why we are devoting precious resources to establishing a new home for the stalwarts. No, no, no. We want to let them go. Let them go. It's their home. Let them build it themselves. Our guards agree they could easily round up any stalwarts who refuse to leave. No, I'll be nice. We've given them a new home, the rest is there. No, 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 I will... You can transfer control at any point. We'll do that. I have the money for it, so we'll set some of it up. I think it's okay. I can build it and then delete it all. And then laugh. I think that's a pretty good yeah, that's a pretty good plan. Okay. I will build them a beautiful, unsymmetrical base though. Like I will be that evil, you know? Like we're just kind of ah, oh, this is ugly as hell. They're gonna be so pissed. Okay. Unfiltered geothermal plant. An advanced geothermal plant. Deep. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Get it going. You'd rather freeze than live in an unsymmetrical base? I get it. Checking in the structural integrity. Well, it's better than being stuck in that other shithole. Moving here wasn't our idea. We certainly didn't ask for it. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're, we're deporting all the, the Terran players from our base. That's what's going on right now. They're all bitching and complaining all the fucking time. So I gave them a little Terran base that they can call their own. They're just complaining and complaining and complaining. 
I didn't care. I didn't come here to catch Trace Loco. Oh, I mean, uh, I mean Protal Splayers, actually. Steward, you have proved Windward more can provide for the needs of a moderately sized community. Seeing this, roughly half the stalwarts have already departed. Yet those remaining bulk. They pref or they fear that Windward more lacks the ability to fend off cold long term. Jeez Louise. Fine, I will send you guys some fucking coal too. I will be a nice guy. A hundred thousand coal? Okay, I don't know if I'm that nice. Mew. Transfer. We are sending in a little bit of it at a time. There is some coal over here too, I guess. We can do some more extracting. Temporary or temporary stop to fighting. You have put an end to, to all the battles, right? Civil wars will start again if you take too long to resolve the entire conflict. I can just round these guys up and kick them out. The fuck, man? Game's very rude to me. We killed 608 of them. That's kind of nice. I mean, sorry, that's uh, kind of bad. I mean, sorry, what did I say? Uh, pilgrims recruit the child soldiers. That's clever. <clears throat> Our guards apprehended a band of children fighting alongside radical pilgrims. Most refused to talk, but one 11-year-old boy broke down and claimed he'd been recruited by the pilgrims' leadership. Some seem repentant, but others are eager to take the fight to the stalwart. Train the young recruits? This isn't the time to be squeamish. The pilgrims need all the help they can get. Are you guys fucking insane? No. You guys are crazy. What's up, blue hair? How are you doing today? Eleven-year-old is almost an adult. Mm. Okay, a repair. How much uh, of my core have I sent over already? My stockpile is full. Wow. I forgot about the fuel stockpile. How much can this hold again? I'm being very nice to the people that are destroying my city. I, I, I wonder if I'm being a little bit too nice. Okay, the number's going up. I mostly want to see what happens when you're nice to the people for once. Um, I think we've finished everything that we need to do, though. I don't really have any issues anymore. Like, other than my own personal issues, you know? I've got loads of those, but... I have a unfiltered, a deep geothermal power plant, bro. That's fucking hot. Put it in there. Oh, can I not make another one? Okay, I thought I could make another one. Oh, I don't have the people for it. Okay. I gotta get so much heat. I saw a video of someone winning the game without ever using the generator. 
The game is a little random sometimes, and there are some little bugs and whatnot, but it's okay. It's still pretty fun. I'm having a good time. Chart Humanity. The Civil War has taken a turn for the worse. As it spread to yet another a district, a radical cell of stalwarts set fire to a pub where pilgrims were known to gather. They had previously blocked all the exits, forcing all 67 people inside to perish in the flames. Outraged citizens demand justice, including some stalwarts trying to distance themselves from the attackers. Wow. Round them up, bro. Are you guys fucking insane? These people are crazy! It will be much cheaper and swifter to round up and deport the stalwarts rather than convince them to leave on their own. Detaining such a large number would, however, require many costly prisons. Um, I will go ahead and round them up outside. Yes. I'm almost done. We have detained a group of militant, violent faction members. They have been thrown in prison for now. It's up to you to decide what will become of them. Um, use the roundup action on the stalwarts. The roundup. How do I use the, the roundup ability? I've no. Oh, it's over here, I guess. Outdoor roundup. Tension is significantly good. Yeah, these guys aren't very nice. We want to condemn them. Oh, the stalwarts have been eliminated. They've been eradicated from New London. Some remain in Wentworth Moor, however. You can spend more time ensuring they thrive in their new home if you wish. If not, it is time to declare victory and decide the fate of those you have detained. I will finish setting up more first, because we're almost done. Like, we're nearly there. I'm sending over all my coal, dude. The stalwarts are settled in their new home, yet our separation is not complete until we sever all ties. You must abandon Windward more and leave them to their fate. Okay, I don't know how I do that. But I guess I transfer them over here at the bottom? Oh, I can demand some funds first. Wait, no, these are the wrong people. We have the detainees. We have the new Londoners. We have the Frostlanders. No one is, is particularly happy about me, but... Uh, transfer control of Windward more to the stalwarts. How do I do that? Oh, here we go. Transfer control. Once we transfer control, we will sever all ties. After transferring control, no more construction or any interaction will be possible. The stalwarts menace is over. The last task is left to you. Decide the fate of those you have detained. I will decide. We have imprisoned a hundred faction militants. All have been found guilty of perpetuating the violence. What should we do? Deport them. Send them out of here. The enemy in our midst has been eradicated. We now stand as one without violent troublemakers to tear at our heart one unity. The city shall not fall. What is a city but an endless void of want? Every day, every minute, these people beg with hands sticky from honey, fed from your meat, with the gall to demand more. So when they came to you, defiant and entitled, demanding their own city, who could blame you for doing the bare minimum? We gave them the bones. If they wanted to be a city so badly, let them make one. If they fail, it's on them. You have succeeded and rightfully banished your adversary. The city stands. Is that it? Did I complete the run? The city didn't fall, baby! Huge. Did I do it? You sided with the pilgrims and exiled the stalwarts. New London became a spirited city. All follow the way.
Maybe you wanted to, or you wanted everyone to get along. I supported the pilgrims and their vision of the future. Maybe you tried your very best, like no one ever did. 787 managers bullied by workers. <laughs> 1,073 people died trying to become Apex workers. Hmm. Maybe you think the Pilgrims will build a better future. Nah. Maybe, I don't know. Winter almost been settled as the Pilgrims wanted. I did. Maybe you had to do it or the city would fall. 105 bystanders dead in civil war. Six districts damaged. 919 stalwarts left for the colony. 100 deported by force. Zero died fighting. That's pretty good, dude. Conditions in the colony poor. Their new home struggles for survival. That's okay. Yeah, we only had a couple people die, really, in the civil skirmish. Yeah. Or maybe. Oh no, it's Lily May again, isn't it? Lily May 14, an adept Cirrus. Made to take the seeing trial. Mother sent to the colony. Takes oil concoctions to stop dreaming of her every night. Will travel the deep frostland paths, but never find peace. I think this is a good win. I don't think I could have maybe... Maybe you're lying to yourself? Oh, absolutely. I lie to myself all the time. <laughs> Isn't every utopia? Somebody else's dystopia? Whoa! I think this is a good win. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Shit, dude. 11-bit knows what I'm on about. Very fun, guys. I think this was a good win. Yeah, I think this was a really nice win. I couldn't have much... Like, I couldn't have done much different, I don't think. It seems like the beginning of the game is certainly a little bit harder than later on. Maybe I'm wrong, but... So this was on the, this was on the, um, steward difficulty. So there's one more difficulty above it called Captain. I have no intention of replaying it again. But that is fun. Maybe I should check out the Utopia Builder? Oh. There's a couple of different places where you can start. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, we'll have to check that out. But that was a good run with Order. Nice, GG.